here are three ways to sell a product whose main benefit is emotional. The first one is you want to make sure you pitch the right people, people who resonate with the emotional problem you solve. If they don't feel lonely or insecure, they're not going to care that you can make them feel supported or confident. And the real trick here is you want to keep in mind that you can't see people's emotional state without engaging with them. So you don't really know who's a fit or not. This is one of the things that makes pitching an emotional benefit so much trickier, right? It's not a job title. You have no idea. You can see who's in your target audience, but you don't actually know if they have that emotional issue or not until you develop some sort of relationship with them, right? So that's the first thing is you want to make sure you're pitching the right people and try to figure out whether or not they have that emotional issue or not as quickly as possible to avoid wasting your time. The second way to sell a product whose main benefit is emotional is to use emotional stories. An emotion-driven product requires an emotion-driven pitch. You have to show them real specific stories of how people who were in their emotional state have now transformed into a new emotional state. And ideally, your own personal story can be one of those examples or the story of your business. You need people to emotionally connect to your mission, not just to a result. If you were selling a non-emotional benefit of you give me X amount of money and I give you X amount of money back, it doesn't matter. That's not an emotional decision that people are making. There's an emotional element. There's an emotional component to everything. But for the most part, that's not an emotional decision. You're selling something that requires an emotional decision, which means it's going to require an emotional connection to get them to trust you and do that and believe it. The third way to sell a product whose main benefit is emotional is to speak directly to their fears and doubts. So again, this is always important in selling anything, but it's especially important when you're selling an emotional benefit because there's a big difference. The reason people have a tactical problem is often a lack of knowledge. It's actually a simpler fix. And on some level, they know that there's something they don't know. They know I need to scale my business. I don't know how to scale my, I need to get a new product manufactured. I don't know how to get the product manufactured. Very tactical things, right? They know they have the problem in their mind. The only thing that's preventing them from doing it is they don't, they lack the knowledge to do it. But people with an emotional challenge are scared or even worse, they doubt that they're capable of being any other way. Some part of them thinks that even if they knew what to do, they couldn't do it for some reason. There's an emotional block. And that means you need to be able to not only convince people your product can drive an emotional transformation, but also that your product can drive an emotional transformation for them. So in your case, if part of what you're selling is the value of these relationships and helping people build the successful business they want, a big part of the reason why they can't do that, like you spoke to, is they feel like they're lonely. They feel like they don't know what to do. They feel like they don't have support. They feel like whatever. So you need to show them that these relationships will help not just other people do it, but will help them do it. Very specifically, this is made for you. Are you the kind of person that X, Y, and Z fits? That's what this is made for. So just to wrap up uh, here, three keys to selling a product whose main benefit is emotional. Number one, you want to make sure you pitch the right people that actually have that emotional challenge. Number two, you want to use emotional stories. And number three, you want to speak directly to their fears and doubts and help them understand that what you have to offer doesn't just help people like them, but can actually help them specifically.